Okay, I'm gonna try and try and. Hello friends, my name is Brian Moshiri and welcome to my channel. Karibu sana if this is your first time being here and welcome back if you've been here before and you've selected to come back. All that is yet to come. But for now, we are about to head on to physiotherapy in town. If you have been a follower of this channel, then you know every Friday I have to go to physiotherapy in town. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'll be accompanied by my dad and my brother Lee. So the day is going to be busy, uh, as you have seen in the highlights. Uh, for today, I'm going to, after physio, I have some errands to run. I might meet with some people, maybe, I don't know. And uh, I have to go to supermarket and buy some supplies that I need. I don't have much to say. I just hope that it's going to be a successful day and we are going to do as much as we can today. So let's go. And I feel like today I am a bit overdressed for physio. I have worn these sweatpants <laughs> that were a gift from my cousin. Not only overdressed, but I think I have overmatched. So this, this is the same color, of course, and my my shoes also are matching. So if you uh, run into me today, don't say too much about how I'm dressing. Just bear with me because <laughs> uh, I think I have overdone it today, but uh, hopefully it's not too much. We have just pulled up at the PGH um, Medical Hospital. It's starting to feel more like home now because I've been coming here for a few, a, f a couple of times. Now it's starting to feel like, starting to feel familiar to me. So again, today the hospital doesn't look busy, which is a good thing. People are not sick and I hope uh, there won't be too many people in physio today. So just like the other time, we are going to pay and then we are going to head over to physio and hopefully we are going to have a really good session. I'm here with Lee, that is a wheelchair and my dad is here as well. I know some of you already recognize this wall behind me. This is where I like to record my vlogs just before getting into physio. I have just arrived and uh, I'm waiting for my brother to come by. I don't know if my dad will be joining us today or maybe he has some errands, but he has gone off to find parking. Um, I just wanted to say the thing with physiotherapy is that it is located right next to occupational therapy and that is where children go to receive their occupational therapy so maybe a child was born with a deformed limb deformed hand or deformed leg so that is where they go to get fixed and get straightened and all that kind of stuff when the children are there they tend to cry a lot so it can be a very intimidating or eerie feeling when you are when you are coming to physio and you're hearing all these children crying and uh, willing for their for their parents or for their moms, so that is one of the my, that that is one of my least favorite things about coming to physio, is that you hear so many children crying and you don't know, but you know it's for the best because they are going to get healed over time and they are going to have a better life, a fuller life because of it. So that is all. But I'm here now and I'm I'm ready and excited for a good session. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Every time I leave physio, one of my eyes, my eyes are not proportional. <laughs> I guess it's because of the physical strain. So they didn't allow me to record videos today uh, at physio. Apparently, some of the past videos that I've recorded there have reached them and they didn't like being on camera that much. I don't know why, because I have always asked for consent before and they didn't seem to, to mind being on my video. But because I guess one of one of the videos really went um, not viral, but it was watched by a lot of people. 
um, and the, the physiotherapist didn't like the attention and that is okay if they don't want to be on camera and it's I guess it's it's a bit difficult for me to record uh, the full experience of physio by myself because I can't do physio by myself I always need a physiotherapist there but again if you're not comfortable uh, that is still okay so I didn't manage to record anything today but not to worry there's still a lot to come in the video still a lot of places to go a lot of things to see so let's go to town and do some errands we need to buy some things in the supermarket i need to buy some chicken feed and uh, take a stroll around town It is an initiative of the county government of Nakuru, Directorate of News Affairs, uh, uh, supported by the Dan Kate. They have given us an opportunity to display what the youths do and also get market for them. So today here we are showing what our youths with disabilities are able to do. We mainly deal with the youths with intellectual disabilities uh, because their cognitive abilities may not allow them to run in regular institutions. So we learn at their pace, we allow them to learn whatever they can at their level so that they, at least they can become independent in future. When you see somebody is not able to capture very well uh, in the academic world, there is still something else they can do. We can offer them vocational skills and what we are doing and we have seen it a very successful venture. We encourage everybody to join us, especially the youth with intellectual disabilities, so that they can get the skills and become independent in future instead of staying as persons with disabilities who always have to beg and be given assistance everywhere. arrived at Nyayo Garden 
very calm place in the middle of the town that you can come and just relax. The grass is very well kept. I'm a Meonaj. Yeah, the grass is very well kept. I'm here with my brother Lee and my good friend Tini. I've never got the opportunity to come and see the park for myself or the garden by myself. So this is a good experience. It doesn't feel like I'm in town actually. I was actually telling them that the last time I was here was when I had my first kiss. So I had my first kiss in a public park. So. <laughs> We've had a good rest now, we've chilled, we've enjoyed the, the serenity of Nyayo Gardens and now we want to, it looks like it might rain anytime soon, so we want to go to a nearby supermarket, Ulmat supermarket and do some shopping Kidogo before the rain catches us, so I hope you've enjoyed. Hello Jackie. Ah. <laughs> what's up, what's up? We've met another friend, Saimo. He's an artist here in Nakuru, so hopefully he's going to join us. A childhood friend of mine, he's an artist here in Nakuru. Yeah. And he's also like, what do you do? Tell the people what you do. Hey, what's up, good people? This is Simor Music. Uh, childhood friend of Brian, yeah, the one and only. And by the way, I'm a musician, a live performing artist and recording peer. And by the way, in the Nakuru Theatre, by the way, please, in Juliana, Brian Kidansiwa. I watch the uh, managing director Pale Nakuru Plus Theatre. The place to create opportunities for artists. On the 21st, we are going to be having a collaborative event. Yes. Uh, Saimo, in collaboration with the Nakuru Players Theatre, yes. are going to be doing an event to raise money to make the, 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 the Nakuru Players Theatre accessible for wheelchair users and other people with disabilities. So on the 21st, I'll be there. So if you're around, Feel free to join us and yeah, you're very welcome. So I'm here with fellow Mandela fellow, fellow Mandela fellow, and aspiring Mandela fellow. Yeah. An amazing thing we didn't plan to meet, we just happened to be in town at the same time. So it's amazing, it's been nice to see you guys after a long time. Hi, how are you guys? I'm Jackie. I'm a friend to Brian and I encourage you guys to go and follow and subscribe and share. Hi, this is Lena and this is Brian. So I call upon you all to come and subscribe to Brian's page, Mr. Brian Mushiri. If you don't follow the page, you're missing out. We got home a few, like an hour or two ago. I was super, super tired. You know, I had come from physio and then I went and did all those errands at town. 
So at the end of the day, I was exhausted. And as we were coming back home, the sun was really hot and I felt like my body was overheating. I'm going to do a separate video in future about how my body reacts to heat. It's, it's crazy how, it's just crazy how my body overheats when I'm exposed to like direct sunlight over a long period of time. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was, I know it was a bit different from the videos that I normally do. It's such a bummer that I couldn't record um, I had physiotherapy, but again, it's okay. I hope they'll have a change of mind next time I go there. I just feel so tired today. I don't know why. Uh, I feel extra tired. I don't, and we didn't do anything new at physio. We just redid the things that we have been doing before. And um, I'm starting to get the sense that when you go to physio, if you don't get like a new physiotherapist, uh, you're, you're just going to repeat the things that you've been doing before so it's um if you can get like a, a different physio every time that would be helpful because they are going to expose you to new things and uh challenge you to do new routines so i hope that maybe the next time i go there i'm going to be able to do to, to, to do that and i want to say thank you so much to everyone who has been sending me gifts uh, those gifts are coming in handy, not only in helping me create these videos, but also paying for my sessions. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate you so much for for for, for thinking about me in that way. And God bless you. Um, I think that's all for for today. I, I'm just going to go to my room and just have some rest. And uh, hopefully by the time it's bedtime, I'll have gotten uh, all this tiredness. All this fatigue will have gone away and I'll be able to have a good night's sleep because apparently I can't be able to sleep well when I'm too tired. I don't know if that is just me, but if I'm too tired, I can't sleep well. So I hope that that is going to change. But for now, uh, see you on the next one and goodbye.